the start of the weekend means it's the start of the 2016 GPT Championship. Dan's makes its first appearance in this formula, or ART will look to dominate. All four ART drivers in the top five Alban leaves Genesis of Fukushima, DeVries and Locker at start at the top of the grid. The first Dan's cars in the form of Hughes takes P7, followed by second Triad driver Antonio Fuchio. Kevin De Jong also starts ahead of Santino Ferrucci. The only female driver in the grid makes it P20, which is Tatiana Calderon. The Gen Z Motorsport driver lineup P13 and P16. Nearly time for the lights out in GP3. What is up guys, we are here and we are back with some GP3 action. It's been a very long time since we've had a uh, race in GP3. It's been a few races in between Monaco um, and Europe, but nonetheless we are back here looking to continue the GP3 championship with Nick DeVries. We are hoping to get off to <coughs> a bit of bit much what we did in Spain, um, get the win in there. ART dominating the podium with our teammate there sitting there in his little car with his ESF sponsor. I think that's ESF anyway, I can't see. But um, nonetheless, we have got no glitch in the pit lane like we did uh, in the previous two races. But anyway, sitting in P5, I think that is. My eyesight's terrible. Anyway, let's get to the race. So on the grid, waiting, we are in P5, we have been split up by Fuko, so we don't get a 1-2-3, but nonetheless, five lights are on, and we are now underway. You can see we get off to a great start, Fuko getting off to a poor start, so if we get past him, it'll be an ALT 1-4, which is just absolutely mental, if you think about it, you're going to squeeze him a little bit. So it's currently, at the moment, an ALT 1-4, we've still got um, 10 laps to go, but at the moment, it looks very, very, very good for us at the moment, but there's going to be, there's probably going to be chaos because having four guys in one team as Janos tries to cut up our outside. I don't know what, he, what he's, what he's playing at, but nonetheless, we are doing a solid job at the moment. One four, this is the possibly the best thing we could do. Although for us being in fourth place out of our team, eh, it's not great, but you know we'll get on with the job and we'll do whatever we can to maintain this. And as I say that, Albon goes into the back of Fukuzumi with any luck he doesn't have a puncture but Albon for sure has no front wing so that's just absolutely terrible for him so it was looking really good the 1-4 was looking very good coming on to onto lap 2 now and um, he goes so slow to get past the clerk so we're gonna have to take another win action some other stuff did happen on the on the on just behind us and on the following lap you can see we actually have three cars actually colliding together and taking themselves out that is I believe it's Jorg, Janos and Schopfwurst as you can see, he just gets tagged from behind and put into the wall, but we're going to continue on now. We actually have uh, Gonda and Boshong uh, battling for position, coming down. I guess you can class it as the back straight, but Nandy's just going to go in too deep, and he's just going to collect um, Boshong and just put him into the wall. So that's another two cars that are out, so it's it's just absolutely horrific for the two drivers. You can see the clerk goes a little bit wide, so we're hopefully, hopefully going to have the run. Um, on the clerk coming into the next few corners, so we're going to stay on board of this just to see what we can do on the clerk. So we could pull in in this slipstream just a little bit. The Monegasque is just about ahead of us, as you can see. We have to back off because we have a little bit of a look. But Fukuzumi is up our gearbox right now, so at the moment it's looking good for an ALT podium. Um, pretty much what we had in Spain, um, just with the, uh, the missing the clerk in Spain. We're going to have a look up his inside, and we're going to take the Monegasque into turn one. Job done. And then Fukuzumi can get through if he does. Awesome for him. If not, eh, you know, you know, stuff happens. But we actually got, um, I believe that's uh, Stovic, and he just gets absolutely annihilated by the Arden, and that's going to be that for him. We got uh, Santino Ferrucci now 
um, amongst the pack. As you can see, he's making some moves on uh, some of the cars um, that are just ahead of him. He's, I think he's got slight damage to his front wing, so he looks like he's been in um, a bit of the wars. But he's going to have a look uh, around the outside of uh, some of the Trident cars, and he's just going to end up putting in the gravel, just pushing too, too hard. So that is quite a few cars that have already left the ground. We've only got 13 cars running left um, in the race. You can see we're coming in now on that four, trying to get the undercut and keep ahead of Leclerc, but Leclerc's actually followed us in because we're not in the same team. It makes no difference. As Albon and ourselves are in the same team, that's cool. Fukuzumi and Leclerc also in the same team, so that's why Fukuzumi has stayed out. I mean, it depends if the overcut's going to work um, on him over his teammate, but so far it's just been a crazy race. So many cars have crashed out, which is obviously not what you want. Um, in a GP3 race, but if there's anything to go by um, this race, the GP2 and the Formula 1 race will be fairly, fairly um, crash heavy, but coming out on two lap 10 now, the final lap, we've got Albon, who is coming in ninth place, so this is for reverse grid pole, and he's going to dive up his inside, he's going to drift the car around the corner, and he's going to hold on to the position, so that's Albon into P8, he's going to have a reverse grid pole, and ourselves, Fukuzumi and Leclerc, and to come home for ALT 1, 2, 3 and reverse grid pole. That's a pretty solid job as we come home and take our second win of the season, the second feature race in a row. As you can see, we've got a pretty big gap to everyone else. So we've done an absolute stellar job there for the ALT boys and for ourselves in the championship. We've made it 2-0 and in um, the feature race. If we can continue this form, I mean, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be awesome. We're, we're going to hopefully take this driver's championship by storm and with any luck we might just maybe might get a drive in Formula 1 for the next season. Nick DeVries took a mining win in the feature race while ART to complete podium 1-2-3 as Arthur Janishas came fourth. Hughes and Leclerc came together meaning they had to make a second stop so they'll start from the back meaning it'd be very difficult for them to come through the field. Jake will start from pole, followed by Nan. Dams didn't perform as well as they would like, as the highest driver placed 11. Can ART come through and win the sprint race as well? We should see more of taking from De Vries like we did in the first race. Time for the second race of the GP3 2016 season. So, back at it with the sprint race now. You can see tweaking my setup, putting it um, to how it was um, in the first race. It seemed to work pretty well there, to be honest. So, if we can repeat the same result, although we are starting um, um, P8, but, you know, Albon starting in P1 with that reverse grid pole that he got in the last lap. It's going to be difficult, but let's see what we can do. So we are here looking at the side and the back of ARTs. I've got a feeling there's going to be a trend in the GP3 campaign. Just looking at ARTs all day. We've got a dam just ahead, which is obviously very good for them. We're going to get off to an alright start. Our teammates don't get off to a start that way. You can see we're gaining on them already. We're going to squeeze our teammate out a little bit. Um, but obviously, you know, we're going to try and do what's best for us. Albon, I think, maybe has been overtaken for the lead. But me and Leclerc are going to squeeze out JQs just because we can, but Hughes is going to have a better run on us, I think he's got a better um, uh, downforce, but you can see we're squeezing him continuously, uh, Fukuzumi has just dropped off the radar, I have no idea whereabouts he is, as you can see, we're just we're just trotting along, we're behind the clerk um, at, at the moment, but we're gonna, you know, we're just going to hold on to him, me and him, try and move up the field, um, if we can get us three on the podium with Albon, that would be absolutely, absolutely phenomenal job. You can see now we have a Lacey and I believe that is Azakai and battling out uh, full position just ahead of our position at the moment. So it looks as if uh, Azakai is coming under pressure uh, from a Lacey. So a Lacey is going to go round the, I guess it's now inside, uh, which switches to the outside. So um, for sure that is job done there by a Lacey on his teammate. Anyway, coming now on to lap two, you can see we are just behind Foucault. He's, he's um, got passed by Leclerc and then Foucault goes straight into the back of our teammate slash not teammate but nonetheless Leclerc is up into fourth place and we are up into fifth 
We are making good progress, but um, our actual teammate, uh, Alban, is doing a fantastic job out in front. He's being hunted down, but nonetheless, we've got a great run here on um, Charles. So hopefully we can see if we can make a decent move round his outside here. Try and do what uh, Ferrucci did, but we're not going to run as wide, and we don't run wide at all. We're going to go side by side coming into this section. We'll leave him good enough room because he is sort of our teammate. We're going to bang wheels a little bit, and you can see how much, how difficult it is to pass. We've actually got Tatiana Calderon on our gearbox right now, so she's doing a fantastic job. And now we're moving on to. You can see there's a bit of um, a bit of uh, contact going on between um, two of the Alden cars, so they're having a bit of a having a bit of a uh, mix up. So the Alden boy is struggling uh, just a tad, but um, Tatiana Calderon obviously doing a fantastic job getting right behind our gearbox. So she's doing an absolutely stellar, stellar job um, for them. So Alden looking pretty good uh, coming into this race. You can see we're back at the battle and we're still going at it. Um, they're crazy. The Alden boys are not giving up whatsoever. We're going to have a look now at Charles Leclerc. He's going to go very slow. I don't know if that was team orders that Nick DeVries is slightly faster than you. Let him through. Do not hold him up, please. And you can see we are now um, in pursuit of a Lacey. And I believe this is... Um, I want to say Calderon, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's Fukuzumi getting absolutely mugged on the inside by one of the Arden boys. So that's definitely, definitely um, not good for us uh, whatsoever. But it's, it's absolute chaos for them. But not, we've got now Janos who is behind uh, one of his teammates in the Trident, so uh, Janos is going to go down the inside of his fellow teammate, and Janos is just going to peel away and get ahead. We're now on to the last lap. We've got a Lacey now just ahead of us. So we're going to dive it from a long way back, uh, an absolute long way back. So it was actually Janos who was overtaking a Lacey there. Um, oh, sorry, Isaac Iam, who was overtaking a Lacey. So that was a fantastic job. So we are currently ahead of a Lacey. We're doing a fantastic job. We're up into P3. So uh, two ARTs on the podium. You know, that's not bad. We're actually going to go in very deep here. We're going to squeeze off a Lacey just so he doesn't get a little bit deep uh, around about here. This camera's got a little bit of a delay on it. But nonetheless, we are ahead of a Lacey. But Lacey's going to just go down her inside. He just smashed the door uh, wide open on us. So we're hopefully we're going to get um, the switch back around the outside here. As you can see, we get so much good traction. But we put it into the gravel. We come across and we just take out a Lacey. And we almost collect our teammate as well as Tatiana Calderon. And I want to say that's huge as well, but that is an absolutely dreadful, dreadful end um, to our race. We just absolutely destroyed a Lacey um, from on the gravel. So, so, so disappointing. We was doing so well. We was up into P3, battling for P4, and we we just absolutely bottled it. We just, oh, it's, it's, oh, there's no excuse for it. It's just too much power on the throttle into the gravel when you're in the gravel you're round but I don't know it's so 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 disappointing but let's look at the tables looking at the driver's stand you can see we have got a 14 point lead to our teammate uh, Fukuzumi and our actual teammate uh, Albon's got a bit of a, a bit of more of a gap uh, Fukio splitting the ALT so it'd be an ALT 1-4 um, Isaac Hyen doing a solid job for Corona and GB um, Dam's getting up there just a little bit um, Akash and Andy for Genzar getting a solid 8th place in the standings at the moment Alacy could have had a bit more points than what he got but nonetheless just, just ahead of his teammate Arthur Janos Jack Aitken and Tatiana Calderon um, following that the constructors on the other hand is just ART dominance that you can just see having the 4 ATO cars and having the best, probably the best Four drivers on the grid um, in ALT, it's, it's just crazy. Uh, Coronan ahead of Genza, Dams, it's getting back up there. I reckon they'll probably event eventually finish uh, P3, possibly P2, but that'd be a push. Arden doing a solid job. Campos racing as well in um, in last place with two points. But anyway, guys, that's been uh, that's been the video. Very disappointing yet again. Uh, two races in a row has been disappointing for F1. Um, now GP3 with any luck. Uh, Pierre Gasly can do something in GP2 um, to make, make us make us a little bit happy. But anyway, guys, until the next race, that's been me. I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.